we are now going to apply gradients to multiple objects. You can apply a gradient to multiple objects by selecting all the objects, applying a gradient color, and then dragging across the objects with the gradient tool to unify them. Now you apply a linear, linear gradient fill to the yellow frame of a bike. Choose three bike. There you go. With the selection tool, choose select bike frame to select the five yellow parts of the frame. Click the fill box in the properties panel. In the panel that appears, make sure the swatches button is selected. There's your swatches button. And select the background gradient swatch. Remember that one we created before. Select the gradient tool in the toolbar. You can see that every object now has a gradient fill applied separately. With the gradient tool selected, you can see that each object has its own annotator bar. Each object's different over here. Looking at the, uh, let's see, let's start off the left side of the left bike wheel and we're going to drag it across to the right. So we're going to start over here. Hang on. My gradient tool is not selected. Now I see them all. I was like, why is mine showing up? Gradient tool selected. Now you see all of the ones. Now click over here and drag it across to the right. Dragging across multiple shapes with the gradient tool allows you to apply a gradient across those shapes. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to undo that. So just get yours like you like. Hang on. Mine. So everybody's is going to be a yellow fill. Uh, mine's lighter over here and a little darker here. Whatever you want to do makes you happy. So we're going to now add transparency to gradients by spe specifying varying opacity values for the different color stops in your gradient. You can create gradients that fade in or out and that show or hide underlying artwork. Next, you'll apply a gradient that fades to transparent in a cloud shape. Choose one presentation. And then select the selection tool and click this red cloud. Click the fill color box. Select the background gradient, same one we've been working with. Select the gradient tool in the toolbar. And then drag from below the cloud up past the top edge. there. With the pointer over the shape, double click the yellow color stop at the top of whatever you just did, so double click that. In the panel that opens, make sure the swatches button is selected and then select the white color from the swatches. So 
we're going to select white. Change the opacity to zero. Press the escape key to hide that. The color is completely transparent at the end of the gradient. Drag the color, drag the bottom color stop up to shorten the gradient a little bit. Drag that up. Select the selection tool and make a cloud copy by option dragging on a Mac or alt dragging on the windows of the cloud. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to select option, click on it and drag it across and that's going to, let me close this gradient, gradient was in the way. And so you see you have another cloud. So that's an easy way to copy something. Uh, let's do select, deselect, file. What? File, save. So you should have two clouds now. There's a cloud there and a cloud there. We're now going to apply a freeform gradient. Aside from creating linear and radial gradients, you can also create freeform. Freeform gradients are made of a series of color stops that you can place anywhere within a shape randomly or as a path. The colors blend between the color stops to create a freeform gradient. Those help add color blends that follow the contour of a shape, adding more realistic shading and more to artwork. Next, you'll apply a freeform gradient to the jersey of the bike rider. So we're going to choose three bike. Select the selection tool and select the bright green jersey on the rider. Choose view, zoom in. Select the gradient tool in the toolbar. Click the free form gradient option in the properties panel on the right. So right over here in your gradient, there's your free form. Ensure that the points option is selected. Points option is selected right there. By default, the free form gradient is applied in points mode. Illustrator automatically adds individual solid colors that blend into each other. As with the linear or radial gradient, the colors are called color stops. The number of color stops Illustrator automatically adds depends on the shape and surrounding artwork. The color for each stop and the number of stops you see may not be the same as what I have, and that's okay. With points mode selected, you'll add, move, edit, or delete individual color stops to change the overall gradient. In this section, you'll edit the color stops in your freeform gradient. So double click the color stop on the arm of the jersey. Shows you your color options with the swatches showing. We're going to select magenta. There's our magenta. Press escape to hide that panel. Drag the color stop up higher on the shoulder. So we're going to drag this up higher on the shoulder. You can see that the gradient blending mode changes as you drag it. With each color stop, you can drag it, double click it to edit its color, and more. So double click the color stop at the back of the jersey. Mine is white right now. Change the color to the dark green swatch. Green and dark green. Drag the now green color stop to the right a little. Next, we'll add a few color stops. Click twice on the back of the rider to add two new color stops to the jerseys.
the new colors are the same as that green that you just did. So double click each, each color stop one at a time to edit the individual color. You can choose whatever color you like. So double click it and I'm going to make mine green there and make this one that. So everybody's going to be different. You can see mine. Press my escape key. That's what mine looks like. Yours can look different. If you want to move your color stops around to make it to where you like yours. We're all going to be different. I like mine. I think it is beautiful. So just drag those color stops around to experiment with the blending. And you can see my result. So move the pointer over the magenta color stop by the neck of the jersey. When you see the dotted circle appear, drag the widget at the bottom of the color stop away. See what we're doing here? You can make that larger and make that stop spread farther away from the color stop. You can also add multiple color stops that blend along a line in lines mode. In this section, you'll add more color to the rider's jersey using lines mode to add a darker shading. Click near the end of the sleeve to add a new color stop. Double click that new color and change the color swatch to purple. There's purple. In the gradient panel, on the properties panel, select the lines option to be able to draw a gradient along a path. So over here, we're going to click on lines. Select the last purple color stop you added to the sleeve, this one. You start a path with a single color stop, so you need to either select the stop you want to start with or make a new one, but we're using that one. Move the pointer up. And you'll see a new path. You'll see, uh, on. Oh. see a new path preview. You should see that it's uh, click to create a new one. You should see that it's the same purple color. So click to make your final one. The color stops are part of a curved path. You can click over here. Look at there. So drag the middle color stop up to reshape the path. So you could you could drag this up and that reshapes it. Get it like you like it. So let's go up here, select, deselect file, save, and let's end this video.